with queasy stomachs, just a fair warning, we're going to have a little bit of a closer look at the lioness's face, see if we can't figure out who she is. So those of you who don't like blood and gore, now would be the time to look away while we get a little bit closer in there and just have a look if we can't see which lioness we're, having, which lioness we're watching. It's really tricky to tell though because she is quite thoroughly coated in bits of buffalo that she's been chewing on. Now Marianne, while we watch this lioness feed, it does give us an incredibly raw image that we're watching. We wanted to know, um, if a lions make a kill far from water, will they be able to obtain the moisture that they need from their kills, or will it make it worse? And I can completely see where you're coming from with that in terms of the idea of the, it being quite a salty business, eating a buffalo and therefore the moisture content might not get them what they need. They do, however, get a great deal of moisture from their kills, as do leopards, and they're very well equipped at dealing with it. The lions, when they can, they'll drink once a day, and they're relatively water dependent, but they, they are adapted to live in more arid, drier climates, so they don't have to necessarily drink every day and a lot of the moisture that comes through from the blood is of a sort of a pH that's not going to cause them extra dehydration or at least it's got a salt content that's not going to cause them extra dehydration so they do get a little bit of moisture that being said it's they're quite happy to walk a large distance to go and have a drink what they'll often do is kind of have one of them on standby to look after the carcass and the rest will go and drink and then they'll come back and the other will oh. let's just listen see if we get some growls a very faint one from one of the lionesses but yes they'll kind of rotate Sorry guys, I'm going to have to repeat actions from earlier and just help Andrew come in here.